Here's a wonderful early 19th century book in a period full speckled leather binding like so with a smooth spine, richly and pleasingly gilt decorated and ruled with these compartment devices and the title lettering like so. Uh, it's very well preserved. The leather remains supple. The uh, edges of the text block display some original marbling like so. Samuel Peabody of Boxford has written his name in here way back uh, in the early 19th century. We see it's 1839. Uh, it's the world as it is. Uh, it covers all areas and aspects of the world with this map of the world on bond paper, which if we look in the center of Africa, we'll see mountains of the moon there. Uh, and we look at uh, New Holland and we see Van Diemen's Land uh, below it as an island. Uh, and this uh, fascinating and very interesting book is profusely illustrated or well illustrated with a variety of small little woodcuts throughout of locations and buildings and peoples and so on. And what we'll see uh, in this section at the beginning uh, is on the United States, there's a discussion of Missouri Territory, of Oregon, of various governments, and of steam navigation, and uh, lead mines, and constitutions of the states, and so on. There's a little view there of Kenyon College in Ohio. Uh, and it goes to Europe next. And what's interesting is as we get to the back, we'll get into uh, m more far-reaching locations like Africa and Asia. And within here uh, is fascinating commentary like on the Grand Lama of Tibet, uh, which would be the uh, Dalai Lama. And here is uh, Feast of Lanterns uh, in right here, China. And I believe that is... Uh, Yes, and it, yeah, it goes on. Japan, very interesting. Yep, here's Africa, oases in the desert. Yeah, this is very interesting because without any question, uh, the uh, biases of the era are embedded uh, within this description and discussion of these different peoples and locations, which would make for fascinating reading today. Uh, ha, fishing by torchlight. And this beautiful book, is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.